Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the Beyond the Mic star line by Don Paul from Southern Recipe to talk about National Bacon Lovers Day. Don, let's go Beyond the Mic. You know what? It's funny because it's Bacon Lovers Day, but I think it, it, Bacon Lovers Day is every day, isn't it? We all love bacon. Exactly. When did you first fall in love with bacon? <laughs> I think, you know, when you're like five years old, I think, when you, you're at a restaurant or mom uh, does up a batch and all that. But, you know, bacon is so versatile that it goes in everything. And it's grown over the last 10 years even more so. I mean, we look at how much Americans eat. An average American will eat about 18 pounds of bacon per year. That's a heck of a lot of bacon, but it also goes in recipes. And it's wrapped in, you know, uh, different foods. And it's, it's really uh, that go-to uh, food, I think, and savory meat that everybody wants. Why do people love bacon so much? Is it the salt? What is it? Well, it's, it's interesting because uh, umami is what they say, and that's what pork rinds are as well, but it has salty, fatty, savory. It's a comforting taste, you know, and it's really our bodies naturally crave that. So you have this this all combination coming together, and, you know, and they always say there's studies on everything, but they say, you know, when bacon heats up, the fat and the sugar, amino acids melt, and it creates this very unique chemical reaction, you know, when people smell bacon, and I think, you know, it's it's all of it's just reaction in the brain. It's It's Quite you know, amazing, um, amusing as well because it's a food that people just their mouth waters when they smell it. I've been wanting to ask a bacon expert this all my life. What is the best way to prepare bacon? Stovetop, oven, microwave, or even out on the grill? Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm always for cast iron um, on the stove. You know, and they think, but. You know, it's funny because there's different, you know, things you can do for microwaving. And people are in a rush or they don't, they want a little bit less fat. Um, but it is a real thick cut bacon in a cast iron and it just kind of cooks from there. And, and then people have preference. Some like it crispier, some don't. So you kind of go from there. Uh, oven, you know, oven is, is unique, but oven tends to work better with recipes. Obviously, when you roll your meat uh, or your bacon around uh, maybe uh, scallions or something like that, that's where that's going to play out more. I've tested out cooking bacon on the grill. That's It's just one of those things I like grilling outdoors. And it's just so challenging with flare-ups, even if you keep it on the side, to uh, cook bacon right on the grill. It is, it is. You know, and I would suggest... Well, still bring out your skillet, maybe, or, or you know, line your grill with a um, tin foil, you know, and then you could heat the splatter down. That's the problem. Bacon is nice and fatty, and that's what we all like about it. But it does go through the grate. It does get the flare ups. So by doing that and keep the um, the grill uh, open, you don't need to because it's going to be thinner, so you don't need the grill closed. You don't need more heat on that. You just have to turn it and watch it, but I, it is. It's tough for the grill. What's your favorite alternative to a BLT? Everyone loves bacon, lettuce, and tomato, but there's got to be an alternative that you like even better. I skip the lettuce, because sometimes the lettuce gets the, the uh, well, it kind of gets uh, soggy and gets in the way of a great bacon sandwich, so it's more of a bacon-bacon. But really, um, putting Bacon on a burger is nothing better. Um, and, and I'll eat even cooked bacon before, chop it up, put it in my mix of hamburger, and it still I don't cook the bacon fully, but still it gets that nice uh, bacony flavor inside the burger because I chopped it up, and then you grill the burger, and it gets your, your meat infused through the hamburger. Okay, time's running out, so it's time for the Rocking Eight. First thing that comes to mind, no pressure. I'm ready. I've always heard that pork's the other white meat, but come on, is bacon red meat? Red or white meat, which is it? <laughs> well, I'm going to go still with white meat on the bacon. I'm going to get it is that pork belly. I'm going to go with it, it is the uh it is pork. It is going to be uh white meat. Most unorthodox use of bacon. I think, well, that's a good one. Uh I haven't really thought about that. <laughs> Favorite cut of bacon? Are you a thin cut bacon or thick cut bacon? Thick. I like the thick because it has more to chew on and, and, and uh, goes a lot further. What 
makes sugar cured bacon so good? It's the sugary. It's the sugar that everybody longs for. They like the sweet and savory, so that's where that sugar comes in. Favorite bacon related product? Yeah, <laughs> I go with the uh, bacon Southern Brother pork rinds uh, because it's a heck of a lot less greasy and much easier to eat. So that's why the, the Southern recipe uh, always uh, is the uh, snack go to for me. What do you tell people when they tell you? They don't like bacon. Um, I ignore them and walk out of the room. No, I mean, <laughs> you know, you do have uh, individuals that will try the turkey bacon. And uh, I'm more purist of the uh, coming from a pig and not a turkey. What's your favorite use of bacon? Uh, it is just straight out of the skillet, really. Um, that's where I uh, I can go with any meal from breakfast, uh, lunch, or dinner, really. It, it complements any. Any uh, meal you're eating. Time for you to brag. What's the most bacon you've had at one sitting? A pound. <laughs> a pound <laughs> of bacon? Well, you know, it wasn't in 15 minutes, okay? It, 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 in all honesty, it was cooked up. It was there, and I ate it through, and it was more of a brunch. So ate it, ate it, and you keep coming back to the table. It's more of a brunch thing. So, yes, it was or maybe just shy of a pound. He first had bacon when he was five, wants you to replace the L in a BLT with more bacon, and once ate a pound of bacon in one sitting. Don Hall from Southern Recipe, thanks so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. You have a good one. And that, my friends, is Beyond the Mic. Uh-huh.